Welcome to accountingsoftware.com. Tonight, today we will do a demo of um, ASP.NET and some of the functionality. that can be used for your business whether you're uh, selling products products services or related services um, ASP.NET can put all of those products on the web for you onto your site um, but with a SQL server backend so that you can store your your products um, safely uh, this is um, ASP.NET what you saw in the last um, shot was the ability for this page to have search capabilities a like category or product name this particular page um, the second page that we saw was a page that um, was designed and programmed using .NET version 2.0 um, it was just a form but the nice something I'd like to point out is that the credit card information that was submitted by the customer um, was encrypted via an algorithm now that we've launched Visual Studio 2008 I used this app uh, system to create an AP transaction report a custom report in SRS 2008 which happens to be Microsoft's web-based report writer and syncs up nicely with Dynamics GP this report demonstrates important filter capabilities in SRS I can select the, the report only to include specific vendors via direct link to SQL as well as multi-page mul multiple vendor report um, with and or with or without page breaks this is uh, some of the capabilities that customers have asked for in the past and um, within uh, the 2008 SRS space uh, this particular report includes such fields as uh, vendor number, vendor name, voucher number, invoice number, invoice date, due date, check code, special check code, GL account code and distribution reference all on the same page once we get these um, little technical difficulties out of the way we'll, we'll show you the report By the way, if you have technical difficulties, uh, we have a team that can help you troubleshoot some of the uh, issues that may come up in report writing. Yeah, it seems like they have to add the RDL file to uh, to one of the settings, and I don't think it was set up correctly. But we had to add the AP Trans file that RDL 
in order for it to work correctly but now I think it's set up correctly and um, we're gonna go and fire up the report As you can see, the report is writing, generating, I should say, with uh, various filters. The vendor class has filters for deductions. So we're going to take a look at the report with just deductions. So there's the uh, AP transaction register with the vendor number, vendor name, voucher, invoice number. Um, this part looks like it includes the, um, the detail. Not just the vendor number, name, and voucher, invoice number, date, due date, invoice amount, check code, but also has the uh, GL account number, account name, distribution, and debit and credit information for each transaction. As you can see, you can pick, um, you can run a, a report where you can do a full all vendor report or just one particular vendor if that's what you choose to do. See, these are the transactions just for that one particular vendor. Again, we have voucher number. Um, invoice date, due date, invoice amount, the check code, special check code um, that the uh, they used to pay that particular batch of bills. Distribution amount and debit and credit, whether it was a debit or a credit. Of course, it includes the account name. So that was the end of the report. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I look forward to uh, creating more videos, more learning videos for you. And in your working with your corporate systems, your corporate financial systems, namely. namely. Um, if you have any questions, you can email me or give me a call. Um, I can be reached at accountingsoftware.com. Ivan at accountingsoftware.com. Thank you, and I will see you again hopefully shortly. Bye bye.